Hey guys, here's a video for my mail call and a couple things I picked up from the local comic book shop. The first comic I got, and I, what's really funny is I don't have uh, this comic even though it's really old, is the first appearance of Domino, which is X Factor number 11. And uh, I, I got this for relatively cheap at my comic book shop. Um, a comic book that was a little bit harder to f track down, but I heard about um, on the internet was the Rick and Morty number one Hot Topic special. And um, I'm not sure if anyone else picked this up, but I'm really curious to see. Um, I, I believe if you spend $25, you got this at Hot Topic. Uh, but what I'm curious about is this actually the first issue so if I read it from here and then continued on, um, or is this a completely different series? So, uh, next thing I have is, uh, I received my J. Scott Campbell books in, and this is for the Spider-Gwen, I believe it's uh, Spider-Gwen 24, which should be the first appearance of her. Um, with these, um, I didn't order them myself, but I tried to have someone order them for me. And for some reason, I had a bad feeling that I wasn't going to receive them all. Um, because last time, his uh, website sold out of the three comics within the first, I believe, five minutes. So, and I kind of was right of uh, them selling out within five minutes. I only got the, the three um, that he offered, uh, or I, well, there was a fourth one, but I didn't end up getting that one because I wasn't, or who ordered it for me wasn't fast enough. But here's the A cover, uh, B cover, and then the C cover, and then um, I ended up having to order the D cover online. Um, I was waiting for prices to drop on the New York Comic Con, uh, but I ended up getting this online once the prices drop, which is the D cover. All right. Let's see. Interesting packaging. All right, so um, I ordered two comics. I was thinking one was gonna arrive before the other one, but what ended up happening was uh, the other package I thought was gonna arrive sooner ended up being media mail. So I'm still waiting on that one, but um, I did end up uh, receiving one of the covers that I didn't realize that I was missing out of my collection until I started or putting everything in the CLZ app. And uh, I'm a huge Michael Turner fan. So this was one of the variants, or not variants, it's just a regular issue of uh, Supergirl. I believe this is number, yeah, oh, it is. It's actually number 50. 
uh, Supergirl 50, and I got this off of an auction. Really, really cheap, um, so it's an affordable cover. But uh, I'm, this is, I think, the only one in the Supergirl line that Turner did that I um, never had. So I just ended up winning this off of the eBay auction. All right, so the next thing I have to show is, uh, um, here's Negan. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And if you look on the back, it comes with, uh, oops, sorry about the glare. Um, uh, it comes with uh, issue 100 special variant. And I'm gonna open this in front of everyone. <laughs> Um, the original Here's Negan story came in the Image Plus uh, magazines, and I have all of them, and I believe there's 16 issues that make up this whole um, Here's Negan story, but um, there's a backing for it, and then... Here's the Here's Negan, issue 100, Barnes & Noble special, and uh, this is going for about $30 on eBay right now, but this whole book, if you happen to go to your Barnes & Noble for an exclusive, if you have it in your town, you can get this whole book for, I believe with tax, is uh, $21.58. So if you're a Walking Dead fan or a completionist, it might be something worth picking up the hardcover. Um, I already read the story. It, it was really, really good. So um, I highly recommend it if you're a Negan fan. And I'm just going to bag and board this. But uh, the reason I also like this cover is since it is Halloween, I like the orange background. I love the orange background with Negan in black. Seems perfect for the time of when this came out. So once again, issue 100 with Negan and Lucille. That's a great cover. So this weekend I went to uh, Anime Expo with my uh, daughter and um, I was really surprised they had um, uh, some comics there, four boxes. And in the four boxes, I found um, they were a dollar each, but I found a couple comics I needed. This is a uh, Witchblade and Tomb Raider, a Michael Turner cover. So I got that for a dollar. Um, I also got this Wonderland number one. It's a J. Scott Campbell cover. I also got another J. Scott Campbell cover, a Gen 13. Uh, this is number 16, something that I don't have. And then, but the biggest thing that I found over there was uh, I found an Adam Hughes cover, and I don't have this. Lady Rawhide. And is this, yeah, it's issue number one. Uh, I was really, when I, when I was digging through, I think this was the first thing I saw, and I had to make sure to keep that in the pile that I was going to buy. Um, but I was really surprised to get this. Really nice cover. And for the very last thing, I've been uh, waiting for this to come in. I'm really excited to get it because this is a um, Michael Turner cover that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, this was an exclusive to uh, Texas. Um, maybe in 2007, 2008. Uh, and... Um, when I first saw it, I knew I wanted it, but at that time, I just couldn't couldn't get it. But it looks like I'm finally going to be able to own it. Now I believe... Oh no, it's actually, it says it right here. This is from... Uh, Wizard World Texas 2000, 2006, and then it's an exclusive edition, and there's only a thousand of these made, and it looks like it's a virgin variant, and uh, does it say a number? Oh, it's number 11. 
let's see if I could do it without a glare. But there you go. That's a, a fathom that I've wanted for years, and I finally got it. What a great looking cover. All right. Well, that's it. If you like the video, um, subscribe and maybe give me a um, thumbs up. Thanks.